Louis, this Watford game makes it four matches in just nine days. You've still got a lot of injury problems, but do you care when things have gone as well as they have in the last week? Um, yeah, it's a, it's an, uh, a very difficult program for us uh, because uh, we have to recover within two days uh, now for the second time. So uh, it's a very difficult game to play for the players. Also, uh, Watford has one day more and Arsenal had two days mo more. Now, we have a small selection at the moment, so it's also difficult. I cannot rotate uh, too much or <laughs> never uh, this season. So it, it, uh, it is not easy uh, to continue, uh, but I feel that the players are doing everything to recover. Uh, they, are, they are taking ice bets, what never they have done, some players. So uh, they are very professional and I hope that we can continue. There's been a lot said about Marcus Rashford, of course, after the last two matches. What, what chance have you got now of keeping his feet on the ground and ensuring that he can continue to have this sort of impact? Has he made himself a permanent part now of your first team? Now, first, I think that uh, the media have to let him in peace and rest, I think. When you are uh, in front of his house and, and that kind of stuff, I, I don't think that is beneficial for a boy from uh, of 18 years old. So uh, give him the time also to be uh, 18 years. And, uh, and, and uh, we shall guide him also uh, in that way that... Uh, <coughs> But I, I don't think uh, he's a very modest guy, so I don't think that that shall be the problem. But of course, uh, when you have so much uh, attention of the media, it it uh, can uh, go in, in another way. But uh, I believe that uh, that he uh, shall keep his uh, feet at the ground. Louis, over the last few days, you 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 made us all laugh with your horny comment in the press conference. You made everyone laugh on Sunday with what you did in front of the dugout. Is this you? Are people seeing you properly now? It's been said before that you are a very amusing person, that you're very gregarious, but we get a kind of more intense person who doesn't really say much. Are the fans seeing different, Louis van Gaal? No, you have seen... Uh who I am. Uh, in press conferences I have to answer uh, the questions and not every uh, question is over a high level, as you know. <laughs> so uh, that's my, my, my problem. I have to answer and, uh, and uh, on the bench or on the pitch or, or in, in the meeting room I can uh, be the man who I am because uh, I can do it uh, because uh, I am Louis van Gaal. And uh, I have uh, done this uh, also in the Champions League final in another way, not lying on the ground, but uh, I was jumping uh, like that because also in the uh, Champions final there was a defender who is uh, putting his uh, foot uh, at that height against Jari Litmanen. And in my uh, uh, opinion, it was uh, a foul. And it is very important. Uh, when you give uh, a lot of uh, free kicks away, our players are doing that. But also when uh, the, the opponent is uh, with every uh, push on the ground. So that was my way of... Uh, of saying it, but it was too emotional, and that's why uh, it's also you have to deal uh, with with the fourth referee and the referee and the authority of the referee. So I think uh, that I have to control my uh, my emotion. That that I have to say also to my players always. So that's why I have apologized, and uh, and uh, and that's it. But in, but. In uh, 
I, I, I don't feel sorry for it because uh, it's me. And uh, I think uh, at that time, maybe uh, I, I uh, was right. Do, do you think, though, that the supporters in the stadium in particular would appreciate you more if you were more down... No, it is not a part of my philosophy because I don't think that you can influence uh, the game uh, uh, from that spot. But you can influence the fans who can influence Yeah, th that I know. But I'm not a clown. Uh, uh, I'm Louis Vergaal. I'm a human being. I'm a professional manager. And uh, part of my philosophy is that my players uh, have to think uh, in the pitch and not the manager. But I want to help them. And sometimes I help them uh, with these actions or something like that. But I help them more to train in the brain what I have said. Uh, and I am training already for 18 months that they uh, see the solutions and, and so on on the pitch. And, and uh, uh, that's why uh, I'm not doing that. Because I have the experience that you cannot uh, influence the game. The players can influence the game by himself. Can, can you update us on injuries? Um, Fellaini, Valencia, are they closer? And what about Wayne Rooney as well? Yeah, Fellaini and Valencia are the first one to come back, I think. Uh, uh, except, of course, Martial and, and, and uh, Smalling and who's coming more, Damian. Uh, they are coming back <coughs> maybe uh, already tomorrow. It's dependable uh, how they feel tomorrow. But uh, the chance is, uh, is there that uh, one of these three players already play, but Fellani shall uh, come in the, in the last step to the process of the team training. And also Valencia today for the first time has trained with the group. So they are coming back. And your captain? Uh, Rudy is uh, still in the brace, so it's not... Uh, I know you want to be in the top four come the end of the season, but you've, you've been in enough kind of title races to know how things shape up. Who do you think is going to win this title at this stage, Louis? No, I think always the number one is, uh, is, uh, has the biggest chance, and that's Leicester. But you, you can see uh, <laughs> for yourself. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, Tottenham is playing very well, I think. So they have a big chance because they have uh, two points in, in, in behind. But uh, Tottenham has to play it, uh, against us also, eh? so, and Leicester also, so you never know. Louis, Last question. with the young players, not just Rashford, but obviously Timothy, who made his debut, I mean, what advice do you give them when they are getting this attention all of a sudden, when they are scoring goals like Rashford? How do you, you've done it before with Ajax players. What do you say to them to try and keep them level? No, that is also uh, to keep them out of uh, the press to uh, say in advance uh, uh, to help the answers already. So I give uh, uh, every uh, match my opinion about the match to my players. So they, I help them uh, to answer your questions. Um, but also the, the elder players uh, shall guide uh, also uh, Marcus Rashford. And, and, uh, and I hope to guide you also to say uh, in this press conference, maybe it is not so convenient that you are uh, in front of the house of uh, a young boy of 80 years old. It's also uh, too much attention. It is not uh, always uh, easy to deal with that attention. And uh, of course, it is uh, remarkable, and I, I can understand uh, that that you are uh, praising him, but uh, still, he has to show his uh, consistency.